Sadly, the Sega Dreamcast is no longer in production. However, there's a tremendous variety of games and accessories available for the system at bargain pricing today. And if you look at the original Sega Dreamcast controller, it looks like a speedboat or spaceship. So it's like the X-Wing fighter for the Sega Dreamcast, which means the VMU card is R2-D2 for the Sega Dreamcast. This is the Quantum Fighter Pad by Interact, and this is more like the Y-Wing Fighter for the Dreamcast. And if you remember anything from Star Wars, R2 can ride in a variety of vehicles. The Quantum Fighter Pad by Interact is a really nice controller, and one that's perfect for fighting games like Marvel vs. Capcom and Capcom vs. SNK on the Sega Dreamcast. It has a traditional six button fighting game layout. On the underside you can see the wire comes out here and they give you a lot of wire and spot for your VMU card and a rumble pack if you choose to put one in there. It's like Docking Bay 94 in that thing, just check that out. The original Sega Dreamcast gave you these triggers here which held your finger quite nicely and they were primarily used for driving games and Hydro Thunder and Sega Rally 2 and whatnot. That's one drawback with the Quantum Fighter Pad. They decided to replace those triggers with these huge buttons that are very cumbersome and your finger easily slips off of them. So I don't recommend getting this for driving games. However, for fighting games it really is excellent because of the programmable feature. In order to pull off special moves with your characters in fighting games, you have to move the joystick and hit button combinations in a certain order like in Street Fighter 2 or the Capcom games to throw fireballs. You know, you have to move down to the right and then hit a button and fire. Well, the cool thing about this controller is you can program all of that into just one button command. This thing will even do complicated special moves where you have to hold back for a while and then push forward or hold down and push up and then push a button. So it's a very versatile controller and one that is a lot of fun for fighting games. The controller is gigantic and practically the same size as the Sega Dreamcast itself. The D-pad works fairly well. I actually prefer the original Sega Dreamcast D-pad to this one. Uh, the edges are a bit sharp and tend to cut into your thumb after a long period of gaming. The analog stick is not bad. It gives you a little indentation and a couple uh, little nubby things to hold your thumb in place. The buttons work very well and I like the overall layout of this controller and the fit and finish. The Interact Quantum Fighter Pad also has an auto fire function for your favorite shooting games. I like the way the controller fits into your hands, it's very comfortable and it is gigantic so it feels like you're holding a Sega Game Gear or PSP or something and you can see here it's practically the same size as Dreamcast. The Quantum Fighter Pad comes with an instruction manual that teaches you how to program the programmable buttons and you can program up to 50 buttons into one button. So if you have a character that has a 50 button combination special move this controller would be uh, certainly very handy. And the instruction manual is not bad and comes in a variety of languages. I've been using the Quantum Fighter Pad for my Dreamcast review of Capcom vs SNK and it works really well in that game because the fighters on screen use these four buttons primarily like your original Sega Dreamcast buttons which had uh, four buttons. So low, low kick, high kick, low punch, high punch I assigned this top right button to have my character Chun-Li throw fireballs and this bottom button I assigned to have her do that thing where she goes upside down and does the helicopter kick around the screen. If I want to get the classic game room dog a piece of chicken I have to drive to the grocery store, buy the chicken, bring the chicken home, cook it, slice it up and then feed it to the dog. So that's a multi-step complicated process. I have that assigned to the quantum fighter pad with the A button that dispenses chicken. This thing is remarkable. Let's try that again. A. Wow. Put that thing on auto fire, she'd be really happy. <laughs> 